In this video, we will cover the common causes of indicator, headlight and window failure on a Mini Cooper built between the years of 2006 and 2015. The most common cause of these faults on the Mini Cooper is failure of the FRM or footwell module. When this failure occurs, you may find that various external lights such as the main beam, side lights, indicators and brake lights may remain active even with the ignition switched off. They may even fail to switch on in the first place. You may also be experiencing problems with the electric windows not operating as they should. These failures can all initially present as intermittent, but may become permanent over time if left unresolved. This failure may also become apparent when attempting to read fault codes from the FRM. You may find that you are unable to communicate with the footwell module using diagnostic equipment. You may also find that other modules will have codes relating to no communications with the FRM module. The vehicle manufacturer's advice is to replace the faulty footwell module with a brand new part, leading to a costly repair bill. The replacement module would also require dealer level programming, adding additional labour costs to the bill. Here at ECU Testing, we have a better solution. Our in-house R&D department have developed an extensive test and repair process for the FRM module, which will not only fully eradicate the root cause of the original design flaws, but will also retain your original coding, ensuring no additional programming is required when you receive the unit back. So, to summarise, if your Mini Cooper is experiencing problems with any of the exterior lights or the front windows, then it's likely you have a faulty FRM footwell module. A brand new unit from the dealer is very expensive and doesn't retain your original software, adding more ramp time and labour costs, leading to a very costly repair bill. These dealer parts also only come with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Sending your control module to us for a rebuild could not be simpler. Just fill out our online test form with details of your fault and select your preferred collection date. Ensure that the module is safely packaged to prevent any damage that could occur during transportation. Once we receive your unit, it is then scheduled to an engineer who will fully test your control module to confirm the faults. You will then be notified of the test results along with the full rebuild quotation. You can make payment instantly by credit or debit card or via PayPal. As soon as payment has been made, the engineer will be informed and your unit will be fully rebuilt. It will then be retested to ensure the eradication of all faults. Your unit is then shipped back to you via next day tracked courier service.